we start to do the dishes. Now for this class here, you don't have as much plate presentation practice yet. CF1 or CF2, you will have some plate presentation. And obviously CF3, every day is a plate presentation. And then CAC, always plate presentation. So it's going to be really important how you set yourself up to do your presentation that we're going to be working with. And a lot of you probably are familiar with a Denny style or with the uh, Barbie style, right? Where it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, you have your vegetables at uh, 10 o'clock, you have your starch at 2 o'clock, and you have your, your uh, proteins at 6. Okay? That's good. There's nothing wrong with it. However, in the modern times, now in the today's cuisine, there's a lot of minimalist type of plating press ups, which means, quote, less means more on a plate. Okay? Now, if you were to work in Denny's or all those other places, obviously you say, oh, you gotta put this much that, that much this, so much protein, so much starch, you gotta have those things on. And you go to a steakhouse, every, every plate has the same type of vegetable, right? Broccoli and Carrots. Limp broccoli. Okay. Probably carrots. Probably carrots. <laughs> Everything's the same. Okay. However, hopefully all of you will get to the point where you're not working in that type of level. I want you to work higher than that. Okay. <laughs> right? You're not paying this much money to handle for Denny's or Applebee's or those kind of places. You want to take it way higher. Okay. So we're going to show you some type of presentations where I've seen and you've probably been seeing some of the ways it's been served in restaurants. Okay. So we have different types of plates, and not, a lot of times you'll see different shapes of the plates. We have a triangular one here, we have a circular one here. This triangle one doesn't have any rim on it. This one has a very slight rim on it. This triangular plate... Did you see her? Okay, we'll wait to the end of it. No rim on it, and then you have our standard 10, 12 inch one. This is a rim that we want, okay? So, whenever we start to uh, present, one of the things you have to look at is that you are the artist, okay? The artiste. This is your canvas. This, products here, are your mediums that you work with, okay? Now, I've seen students that have very, you know, they're from the arts, they, they started off in art school and do all these drawings and everything. They're very good at putting things together. They have color compositions, they have texture compositions, but they don't know how to cook, okay? Now the first thing in plate presentations, the most important thing that you have to understand is not the beauty of the plate, but how you cook your food correctly. It has to be done correctly. You saute, it's saute correctly. You broil, it's broil correctly. You deep fry, it's deep fried correctly. That's the first thing that usually chefs will look for. Making sure your technique is done correctly, the right technique. You understand what I'm talking about? Your yes, chef. Not no matter how fancy the plate is. If your steak is cooked well done and I want it medium rare, it's nothing. Right. Okay, that's trash. That's a throwaway. Okay. If your if your uh, sautéed vegetable is sautéed, I still have some crunch but still tender. But you feed me raw vegetables, that's a throwaway. It's not good. So the first thing you have to understand. Ladies and gentlemen, is to cook it correctly. CF2 won't handle that. Now you don't have that much here, you don't have that much everyday hands-on experience. But what I show you, or Chef Kanap showed you, or Chef Mullins, you're gonna to have to store that in the back of your head, just that when you go to CF2, you know exactly what they were talking about. Okay, because creativity in presentation is really up to you. In my class CAC, you create any way you want. There's certain guidelines before you can start the creation, the, uh, the plating up process. We'll go about doing that process here. 